Okay. Um, natural light photography. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Great. Um, here's also an irreducible fact. Some people never use a speed light, and uh, they take nature shots, and they only use natural light. That's wonderful, you know. Landscape shots, there's not enough money in the world to buy enough of these gigantic studio strobes to light up a wide-angle landscape shot. Yeah. Um, here's something that you need to reconsider in your thinking. And I know it scares people, speed light photography. Flash is like the aspirin pill of photography. Flash or speed light, whether it's a studio, nobody's packing a studio strobe around to a photo shoot, like it's, unless it's a wedding shoot and it's a reception, in which case they've got a studio strobe. Typically it's a speed light, of course. Flash is the aspirin pill, is uh, the magic wonder drug, it's the coffee, the aspirin pill, the Swiss army knife that really solves all issues. Um, have you ever seen, uh, I bet when you were younger, before you got into photography, uh, it probably was the case that, you may not have noticed it, I noticed it, you'd see a, a photographer out and it'd just be like blazing hot. Usually you don't want to shoot, you know, a noonday sun or, you know, crappy lighting. All the best lighting is in the evening or in the early morning. You'd be like, why the hell is that person packing around a speed light or a studio strobe, you know, when there's plenty of light outside? Color balance issues, color saturation. Do you know how much a speed light changes things? You could have the best... L I can do more with a shitty lens and a, a cheap speed light than I can with the most expensive and best lens that money can buy and ambient lighting. Here's a shot that I took. Um, I forget her name. and She was the uh, voice actress uh, for uh, Gem. You know, speed light. Flash is the only true equalizer. Let's talk about and think about what it is you're so afraid of. And <clears throat> I told this to a few people, and these few people have been in constant contact with me. I made a bunch of videos like last year saying, look it, you're going to go, everybody's afraid of speed lights. They really are. It is having trouble figuring out composition, exposure, what the hell ISO is, what the hell, how to, app, you know, composition, getting autofocus, probably, you know. Speed light is the mystery zone. It scares them. It's like, oh God, it's like learning another camera. Now I have to integrate this into my exposure, my composition, my focus. I told people that you go out and you start failing and sucking for a few days and uh, your improvement curve will go like this. Unless you're just totally brain dead and I haven't encountered it yet, the, ex the uh, curvature of improvement goes just up like a damn rocket. Up like a rocket. Flash is the only true equalizer. And I forget who said it once. It said that uh, Sam Colt uh, made, uh, uh, well, you know, is it God made man and Samuel Colt uh, made them all equal. Flash is the only equalizer. It fixes issues with color saturation. It fixes it. You talk about uh, color balancing. You got the ultimate color balancing tool here. Without this speed light, and I saw some photographers. Uh, at this event uh, where I was doing a gig and uh, this was on my own free time and I sent uh, her these pictures later uh, none of them had a speed light and I was watching them. I didn't even see a single speed light fire everybody was like cranking the ISO dial way the hell up there I mean I kid you not I saw one person with a flash and that was a newspaper photographer and he had like uh, four cannons he, I mean, he was a big fat dude. He's way bigger than me. He had t two cannons here, he had one in his hand, and he had another one on his back. It's like, oh, what do you need four cannon cameras for? I could see two, but not four. And she's the only person who actually had a speed light other than myself. Nobody else was using it. Crank up the ISO dial, set the color balance. Oh, do you know what that also doesn't fix? Without this uh, speed light, the, the, the nasty, horrible indoor lighting, uh, the fluorescence for uh, hitting... Uh, down on her head, casting shadows underneath her nose. If I set the color balance perfectly and I exposed uh, for her face, the color saturation would be horrible. The grain, the look, it would just be horrible. The skin tones, the splash to solve so many. You know, it's amazing when people start messing with the speed light and a lot of people don't. It's like, how many lenses you got? I got six lenses. How many cameras you got? I got two cameras. How many speed lights you got? I got one, but I never use it. It's like, really? 
the color saturation you know how you have to like change your Lightroom slider dials on saturation to like ah oh, this isn't rich enough you know flash solves a lot of that um, dynamic range makes all things possible um, and flash is the solution uh, for issues of dynamic range at, uh, at near and uh, mid to uh, mid distance uh, proximity um, backlit the best camera in the world the best lenses in the world you are outdoor shooting early morning late evening even midday you have a backlit issue problem what you were screwed you could either expose the dynamic range is just off the hook if you want all those deep blues in uh, the ocean and uh, you know the skies to come out you, you know you can either do that and the person will be completely black outline a speed light gives you the ability to expose what the hell your light can't hit your background all the ambience that are so beautiful and color rich that fit the composition that your eyeballs see hopefully your eyeballs can see the dynamic range and your eyeballs will tell you I don't care where I got my exposure set my shutter speed my aperture my ISO I can't capture the dynamic range of this hotly lit scene where I have you know 12 stops between you know the bright sky and the person here on the beach for example can't do it it can't be done it's like well you know I could uh, I'll uh, let the person underexpose by four stops and I'll raise it up in Lightroom you know I'll do selective exposure raising on the person in, in Lightroom do you really want to do that with all those pictures on the beach for example I mean it doesn't matter if it's a picture of a bright flower out in the field you have all these nasty cast shadows or trees hanging over it's like well there's plenty of light but I can't nail this shot and it doesn't look like a snapshot it fixes color saturation issues it fixes everything to do with dynamic range if you could hit it with a speed light and it's near an intermediate range um, you know 40 50 yards blast it full power and that way you can equalize the difference between your background and the subject that you're shooting for you have the color saturation you have the dynamic range you have the lighting where you want to put it you're not going to change mother nature you know if you want to wait like a hunter in a tree stand and this is what people do when people got a camera the best camera and the best lens that money can buy they're like a hunter in a tree stand that's waiting for a deer to come by to cap it the smart hunter is the one that comes out like a couple days early and they put out all these no I don't hunt deer they put out all these uh, goofy things that deer love and all they have to do is come back you know early in the morning and they'll sit there and then boom deer comes by them. boom cap it you bend your situation to your will you are not a slave to lighting and mother nature is a bitch this, I mean this isn't even mother nature this is indoor lighting you're slave to indoor. It doesn't matter how you set your exposure. It doesn't matter how you set your ISO. You're not going to do a damn thing that's going to make the picture, you know, turn out all that awesome. You're just not. Look at this crappy, nasty background lighting. What are you going to do? Don't be afraid of a speed light. I mean, if you haven't picked up a speed light yet and you're saving for uh, another lens there she, there she is isn't she a cutie right um, you're saving up for another lens and you don't have a speed light you're making a mistake you're making a mistake I mean um, recommendations on speed light depends on what camera you got Fuji X-T1 one thing I'll admit the Fuji kind of screwed the pooch on is they don't really have any flash options but I'm not concerned about that because I can use any Nikon flash in manual or auto mode I do have TTL capabilities and high speed sync capabilities right now with the Nissan i40 but Fuji and uh, METS are coming out with mini speed lights and Icon you got tons of cheaper old speed lights like this available that you can only use in manual and auto mode and by the way I mean for 15 plus years every photographer I knew was using manual I mean he was using excuse me auto and manual mode I mean auto has a sensor on it I mean it actually quenches the flash via the sensor on this little hole right here where my fingers at that will work with your any Nikon speed light basically any decent speed light that costs more than twelve dollars has an auto setting that you can use with your Fuji or any other uh, uh, camera that you have so you don't have to spend that much money fifty bucks for an Nikon SB28 um, why don't you ask yourself why backlit pictures are ho so horrible to correct for 
all the indoor pictures that you take, it's like, why don't I turn out? You know, I just, I know I exposed for this picture properly, but it just looks like crap. I can't do anything with it. I'm here in Lightroom. Color set, you know, what do you think flash does? What do you think, uh, you know, uh, reflectance and uh, incident light is? Where do you think it's coming? You have got the sun with you. You have got the power to increase the color saturation on anything that you can hit with your speed light. I don't have to raise the saturation dials. I have natural saturation from reflected light off of her skin or off of uh, that spandex uh, bodysuit. <whistles> <laughs> <laughs> the point is, is that you have control. That was uh, Commander Data. I forgot what her name was. There's some chicks. I mean, this was horrible lighting as it existed. This is the addition of uh, speed light illumination. Um, just in auto mode. I think this is an Icon D750 shot. Um, why do you think you see these professionals dragging speed lights out uh, to uh, brightly lit scenes? You know, you think it's strictly for fill flash? A lot of people think, well, they're just bringing that for fill flash. Well, sometimes, yeah. There's other reasons to use flash. You know, you can have all of the light in the world, but if it's crappy light, you know, you can expose it properly with your ISO your shutter speed and your, your aperture, but the saturation might not be any good, the lighting might look horrible. You have to control it. You want the dynamic range, the color saturation, and the type of lighting angles that you dictate for the compositional values that you choose. Screw Mother Nature, screw indoor lighting, all that stuff sucks. You have to have control over the light and that means that you make the light because nine times out of ten and there's not a single professional photographer that will disagree with me nine times out of ten you know unless you've like staked out that beautiful spot where the sun is going to crest over the horizon at 8 54 in the morning or whenever the hell it is and you've got boom perfect lighting you know unless you've staked out and hunted that perfect shot you know 95 times out of 100, any professional photographer will tell you lighting sucks and the best camera in the world and the best lens in the world isn't going to fix it. It isn't going to fix it. The color saturation, the depth, the, uh, the power that you have over the dynamic range, when you can narrow the spectrum and uh, set perfect exposure and you don't have issues of harsh lighting, uh, bad color uh, cast lighting, where you're sitting there trying to, you know, uh, you know, have a brain fart over uh, checking uh, your white balance. You just bla I need to bla I'm going to blast it with a speed light. Boom! I'm not worried about skin tones from uh, incandescence or fluorescence or uh, mercury tubes. You know, I'm going to blast it with my own color balance light. Boom! Have some speed lights. Go out and start failing with the speed light because it's going gonna, it's gonna to make everything you do so much more pleasing. That's kind of a freaky shot, isn't it? There's another freaky shot. And I forget who she was. Retro 50 stuff, right? Saturation. Dynamic range. And the lighting control is yours. Don't be afraid. Get out and use it. Flash is the only true equalizer and the one thing that will make you the happiest, the quickest, for the least amount of money. Okay? Start going out and failing. You will dramatically improve very quickly. Thanks. Catch you later. Bye.